So there is the little thing all pulled apart. One little screw that goes in the back here. And just a little simple circuit board with a battery. There's an antenna loop on this one. I'm not sure if there is on other ones that people have modded, but we're probably going to try going in one of those holes. So I've cut a piece of uh, black wire here at 5.8 inches roughly. I heard stories 5 and 3 quarters to which was considered short. So 5.8 to 6.1 was considered normal. This is just barely under six inches. So see how that works. So what's been done here is uh, there was a little there was a hole just this side of the antenna. This is the, the stock antenna that came with it, just wrapped around. There was a little hole this side that apparently, um, what's it called, a trace? Trace uh, goes from one to the other and comes to a dead end there. So uh, that taps in. The soldering was done on the back here to join it into the other antenna. It's been brought through the front, there's a little kink there. The decision was made to uh, drill a small hole. I think that's the one right there. Nice clean hole. And uh, for the wire to go through, that was a pretty simple process. The, the plastic, I was worried about it breaking or cracking, but it uh, seemed to drill through fine. So we've just used this plain black wire, which doesn't look too bad. And the hole is exact fit there. See if I can get this thing back together. It's a little clip on the back that uh, has to go in first. And then it's just a matter of getting that wire tucked in properly. Not too bad. Hopefully that uh, screw doesn't strip out. Very good. So there's the whole unit with the wire on top. And what I've seen some do, we'll give it a stab here and see what happens, is uh, do a kink. It might not do it, I didn't use a rigid wire. But we'll try it just to keep it more small and compact. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Let's go see how it works. Look at this sweet little baby. <laughs>